Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. As of midnight Tuesday, Jamaica will ban all flights from the United Kingdom for a period of two weeks ending January 4, 2021. People arriving before that time will be placed in 48-hour state quarantine. Meanwhile, outbound flights to London will also be banned as of midnight Tuesday as the UK seeks to contain a new strain of the coronavirus. And the Medical Association of Jamaica says it is concerned about public comments regarding COVID-19 that are not supported by science-based evidence. This follows recent statements by consultant neurosurgeon Dr. Roger Hunter that government officials and his medical colleagues were creating mass hysteria over COVID, which he described as a winter virus that thrives in cold climates. The Manchester police are on the hunt for another suspect in a foiled murder in Greenville, Mandeville on Sunday. One gunman was shot dead and another arrested after they reportedly fired at the police when they were intercepted on the Winston Jones Highway. The St. Andrew's Southeastern Member of Parliament, Julian Robinson, has suggested that the government offer incentives for Jamaicans to sign on to the new National Identification and Registration System NIDS. In sports, Jamaica Athletics President Garth Gale says a second postponement of the Carifta Games could present conflicts for local junior athletes for the 2021 season. Host Bermuda has indicated that the possibility exists for a postponing of the competition for the second time because of the coronavirus pandemic. In your currency trading today, it was costing $143.95 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $192.11, and the Canadian dollar for $111.51. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be partly cloudy across sections of North Central and Eastern parishes. Otherwise, it will be mainly sunny. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.